Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 14.1 and 14.2, Graphing Trig Functions, Continued. So the last time we graphed, we just graphed things that shifted up, shifted down. We left the period the same, and there was no left and right shifts. It may have flipped upside down and left and right, but now we're going to get fairly challenging. So how do we graph y equals sine of 2 theta? Well, it turns out, if you experiment and play with it, that this 2 means something. It changes the period. The period is always 2 pi over the number in front of the variable. So in this case, pi. As a good habit, we're going to do this. Vertical shift is 0. And horizontal shift is also 0. We're going to put the horizontal shift in very soon. So we make our graph up one, down one. We still make four tick marks. Now we call this one pi. I'll put the other ones in as soon as I've done my graph. It's signs. So we start here. It's positive signs. So we go up, then down. As mentioned before, I'm only showing one cycle because if I wanted to, I could just keep going on and draw that cycle there, or I could draw it here. And it's pretty easy. It's not that hard to label them. So there's no point to me to doing it. But you might be asked to do that in some time in your near future. Half of pi is pi over 2. Half of pi over 2 is pi over 4. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, also known as pi. That's how I check that I've got the right labels at each tick mark. So now we change the period. Let's leave the period alone. Let's give it a horizontal shift. So I'll go through all the other ones. You may have noticed I'm constantly changing where I start things. It doesn't really matter. If you're a person that wants to be consistent, then go ahead and start amplitude and whatever. Now the horizontal shift is pi over 4. It's this value here. Notice the negative. This is one of those infuriating times in math where things are flipped. And to avoid complete and total confusion, I don't say negative is positive, positive is negative. I say to the right. Negative will shift it to the right. So we set up our graph. Up one. Down one. Dot in our lines. Four tick marks. That's 2 pi, but I'll put that in later. Cosine starts up top because it's positive cosine, and it goes down here. Now I'm going to dot this one in because it's not final. Some people don't dot it in. They just like to shift their dots. That's fine, too. I go even with a third color. So we've got 2 pi, pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and now we have a shift of pi over 4. Well, if this is pi over 2, then pi over 4 is right here. Each one has to shift, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4. And each dot shifts over that far. There's your new graft. It's a horizontal shift. The pi over 4 shift was a pain. Sometimes it's nice and neat and falls right on top of your own tick marks, and you only have to add one at the end. 
But the biggest problem people have is remembering that negative goes right. So watch out. Here's the general form. Like I said, you can do it in any order you want. Amplitude, always positive. Is out front. 2 pi over B is the period. This is your horizontal shift. And this is your vertical shift. Let's try one where we put it all together. Might have still been writing. Apologize. I like to start with amplitude. Two. Vertical shift. Up one. Period. Two pi over one half. That's this number here. Notice the format. We'll talk about this in a little bit. It's got to be out front of the theta, and it's got to, if it has a horizontal shift, it has to be factored out. 2 pi divided by 1 half is 4 pi. If you're not sure why, I suggest you invent a time machine and go back to pre-algebra and figure it out. And the horizontal shift is right here. It's pi to the right. So we graph. Notice I'm leaving a lot of space out here because I know it's shifting to the right. Now we're going to go up one. And then we're going to go up two from there. And then we're going to go down two from the center line, midline, whatever you feel like calling it. I don't want to label those just because I think it's going to cause problems. It's cosine, positive cosine, so it starts up top. This one I'm not going to dot in. You can if you want dot it in, but I'm not going to. I'm going to label this 4 pi, 3 pi, 2 pi, pi, and it's just pi to the right, so I need a 5 pi out here. If you have colored pencils, I recommend using them. Everything shifts over pi. And there's our new graph. If you can do that, you're good to go for 90% of this unit. Very challenging stuff. Here's one you should try on your own. Tried to throw everything but the kitchen sink in not going to talk through it. Pause this and try it yourself because I'm just going to crank it out. So now we graph it. going down two and then down three more to and up three more to get our upper and lower bounds and I don't like my dotted lines don't have my four tick marks yet Notice I've done a poor job of planning. We're going to have to come back this way. So I should have left myself some more space over here. Maybe one tick mark, maybe two. I haven't labeled it yet. Let's do some labeling. 2 pi over 3. Half of 2 pi over 3 equals pi over 3. Or you could just say I had... 2 pi over 3 is, and now I only have 1 pi over 3. Half again is pi over 6, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6. Also known as pi over 2. This will be negative pi over 6. We need to extend the dotted line out. The 
This will be negative pi over 3. You can see I'm just copying them over. Now we put in the original. It's sine. It's negative sine, so it goes down, then up. We shift all of that over two tick marks to the left. There it is. This is very challenging stuff, so hope you're figuring it out. One more twist. Isn't there always a twist? I'm going to change this problem just because I don't like it. I'm going to rewrite it as y equals cosine of 2 pi theta minus pi. Now, it's not factored here, so we have to factor it. We have to rewrite it in this form. So I pulled the 2 pi out here, which means I'm basically just pulling 2 pi out of both of these. That leaves me with theta minus 1 half. This 1 half makes certain people panic. There's no pi there. Where's it gone? What are we going to do? It's not a problem. Graph it normally. The only twist was factoring it first. Vertical shift equals 0. Amplitude equals 1. Period. Equals 2 pi over 2 pi which is 1. Horizontal shift is 1 half to the right. That's it. One, one half, one fourth, one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, five fourth, six fourth, also known as three halves. We're graphing cosine. It's not negative, so we start up top. I'll dot this one in. I've dotted one. I've not dotted the other. Just showing you there's lots of different ways to do it. Everything shifts over one half, so that's two tick marks. So it's made a half phase shift to the right. That's it. There's one more problem if you're looking at your note sheet. You can do it if you want. I'm not going to go through it, just in the interest of time. Good luck.